Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select these values here and drag them down and then type in the numbers one and two to act as placeholders. Then I'll select all of these cells here and go to insert and insert a scatter chart with straight lines. Then I'll go to chart design and select switch row slash column. Then I'll resize the chart. And then delete the legend and also the horizontal grid lines. Then I'll double click on the Y axis and in order to remove the gaps at the top and the bottom, I'll change the maximum to one and then the minimum to 0.4 or 40%. Then I'll select the X axis and change the major units to one in order to have grid lines at position one and position two. Then in order to remove the gaps at either side, I will change the minimum to one and the maximum to two. Then I no longer need the Y axis here, so I will delete it. Then I'll readjust the plot area to add in gaps on either side where the data labels will go. Then the next step is to change the color of all of the lines. So I will change the color of the first line to a light orange. Then I will press F4 on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut to repeat whatever your previous step was. And as my previous step was changing the color of the line, I can click on each line and then press F4 to change the color of all of the lines to a light orange. Then I'll select this line here and change it to red as I want this line to stand out more. Then the next step is to add in labels at the top that say critic score and audience score. So in order to do this, I'm going to make a fake data set and I'll right click and select data and then add a new series. And this series I will call axes. And then for the X values, as I want a label here and here, the X values need to be one and two. So in curly brackets, I will put one comma two. Then for the Y values, as I want both my labels to be at the same height, the Y values need to both be the same number. And as I want the labels at the top of the chart, the numbers need to be whatever my maximum Y value is. So for me, this is going to be one comma one and okay and okay again. And now I have a horizontal line at the top. I don't actually want to be able to see the line here, so I'm going to say no line. And then I will add in the data labels and then select these data labels. And instead of showing the Y value, I will show the value from cells and that will be these cells here and okay. And now I have my labels here. I'm just going to do some quick formatting. Then I no longer need the X axis at the bottom, so I will delete this. Then I'll use the drop down list here to select the grid lines and I will change these to be black and make them slightly wider. Then I'll also change the color of the border as well to be black and make that one point as well. Then the next step is to add in the labels on either side. So in order to do this, I'm going to make another two fake data sets. And because I want one vertical line here and then another vertical line here, I need to have two more columns. And the first column will be all the number ones and then the second column will be all the number twos. Then I'll select the chart and right click and select data. And then I'll add a new series. And the first series will be the critic score. And then for the X values, because I want a vertical line here, all of the X values need to be the same number and they all need to be the number one. Then for the Y values, they will be the percentages for the critic score and okay. 
then I will do the same thing for the audience score. So in this case, I want a vertical line here, which means I need all of the X values to be the number two. And then for the Y values, this time they will be the percentages for the audience score. And OK, and OK again. And now it's a little bit difficult to see, but there is a blue line here and then a green line here. I am then going to add in two more columns for the data labels. So for the labels on this side, I want it to show me the episode number and then the percentage for the critic score. So I'll type in the first one and then press Control E on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for flash fill. And that will fill in the rest of the column for me. And I'll just quickly scroll down and check that these have all been done correctly. And then for the labels on this side, I want it to show me the percentage for the audience score first and then the episode number. And then I'll use Control E to fill in the rest of the column and just quickly check that these are all the right numbers. Then I'll select the blue line here and add in data labels. Then select the data labels and instead of showing the Y value, I want it to show the value from cells, which will be these cells here and OK. And then I'll change the label position to the left side. Then change the text fill to be light orange so it matches all of the lines. And then I'll change the blue line so that it is black and it is only one point wide. So it is the same as the grid lines underneath. Then I'll do the same thing for the audience score here. So I'll add in the data labels and then select the labels. And this time they need to be positioned on the right hand side. And instead of showing the Y value, I will show the values from these cells and OK. Then I'll also delete the leader lines and change the text to a light orange and then change the green line to be black and make it thinner. Now the next step is the fiddly part where I have to move all of the labels so they can all be red. So to select just one label you need to double click on it and then I'll also hold down shift while I move them up and down so I don't accidentally move them from side to side so they'll all still be lined up. OK, and then I will select just this data label here and change the text fill of this to red. And I'll also change the text fill of this label to red as well. So they match the red line. And then you may notice here that the orange line is going over the top of the red line. And I don't want that. So I'm going to select the chart and right click and select data and then select the series for the red line and move it down so it is being plotted over the top of all of the other lines and OK. And now you'll see that the red line is going over the top of the orange line because I want the red line to stand out the most. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to make a slope graph in Excel and that is everything.